Hi friends, now we are going to discuss one of the questions that you will get in interview and if you don't get in the interview, you are going to use it every day, day in and day out. If you work for purchasing or procurement or accounts payable, ideally you should be knowing this uh, regardless of what, what model you are working on. This is something that is very important and you need to understand. So especially on the procurement side, you have this thing called three-way match, two-way match, and four-way match, okay? Generally, everyone, this two-way and three-way is very common, okay? So two-way is match, is cases, okay, where you have a purchase order, you have a goods receipt, okay? Three-way match means they're matching, so the purchase order is created. There's a goods receipt or service entry sheet. That's the second match. And then the invoice is posted based on this. So there is three process, three places where they can catch. There is some discrepancy. So this is generally followed. 90% is, uh, the industry says that 90% of your invoices should be a three-way match. Okay, so, mm, so in order to do so, it works perfectly because that means in purchase order, when you are cutting a purchase order, you have done a deal with them that you are getting the lowest price or whatever, and they have the greatest quality and all those things. So you can check all those things. So that's three-way match. That's ideally 90%. Two-way match is, though it gets the claim you shouldn't be having, but in lots of cases where you cannot really um, budget your spending like taxes and all those things you cannot really budget how much you're going to spend and all those things um, those things needs to be paid or there is variable like lots of companies work for you know they are public companies so they have to pay for broker fee broker fee and other things isos and all those things uh you have uh, you have U.S. stock exchange, you have uh, Shanghai stock exchange, you have European stock exchange, you have Bombay stock exchange. So you have to pay those. Those are variable and those needs to be paid right away. So if you understand here purchase order, the more layer you have, the more time it will take to pay the invoice. Two a match is a quick way to pay it, but the risk there is there is high risk there. You know, so that's why uh, ideally uh, it generally falls in a process where there is an invoice which is sparked and then there is an approval by a person who has generally the person who whose cost center is being hidden and then they post it okay so there's very little check and ideally ideally and it should be it cannot be an inventory item that you are doing a two way doing um uh, uh, payment wrong because if you have an inventory item you have a moving average price so if you are not receiving it you don't know how much inventory you have and that's a big problem so these process ideally should be done for non-inventory items like this emergency approval i remember i used to work for a airline industry and there was a case that they said hey you need to pay me right away otherwise uh, the airport was saying you need to pay me right away Otherwise, I will not allow you to land the airplane in my airport. So those are like right away you are uh, paying the invoices. The treasury is releasing the money. They're releasing the wire and they're seeing the money come right away. So those are emergency things that you need to pay right away. Okay, those are things that you know the broker brokerage they they, were, they are not going to wait. And those are like payment terms are like pay immediately and all those things. Okay. And then you have the four-way match. This is for the product development, product development company, but you have lots of inventory. You have a good quality management. You have a good price control. You know, quality management is the place where it really kicks in. Uh, this is the fourth one. If you see quality, quantity, price discrepancy. So if the quality is not good, the price is not matching, the quantity is not matching. I have seen cases where the delivery date is not matching. The delivery date is in the past. So I don't really need now to pay me this, to give me this product. I needed it before. So I'm not going to pay you um, uh, or it's blocked because probably I have found another vendor who gave me the parts on the right time and I already paid it so those are the things and there so this is the four-way match this is a conventional you know 
ideal solution where uh, where everyone there's a quality department but most of the companies with so many people crunching uh, crunching the numbers and all those things this is again this is mostly in the manufacturing sector uh, ideally most of the companies use this tree match everyone says oh you need to have 100 percent that doesn't ever happen it's i think if you are at 80 to 85 percent of three way match that's a good number uh two way match there will be always two 10 20 10 15 percent will be uh team and four way match you know it's a it's a luxury to have for me uh if it's it's a mandatory to have in a manufacturing company but uh or a product development company but for other industries no, it's a luxury to have so please try to understand this process this this diagram is very important it may not be so much pretty but it's very important to understand the business process of what is a three-way match and this is a two-way match and this is a four-way match so that's it stay tuned to my sap channel and happy sap learning and if you like it share and subscribe to it and have a great day